Are you happy? And then Mrs. Corinthus. <laughs> yes. I will no longer be known as Brenda Barrett. It's Brenda Corinthus. You know, it's like, despite all the warnings and everything that we've been through, you're my wife. And I'm your husband. attention thank you so uh, in the absence of the best man I guess it leaves it to me the best woman matron of honor uh, to make the speech so I am happy to do that I've known Brenda for a really long time we used to gossip about Sunny all the time do you remember that when you guys first met <laughs> no not at all she's always been smart and sassy and of course Sonny fell in love with her the moment that he met her. Brenda had been to, you know, boarding school, and uh, Sonny had street smarts. Kind of like uh, Lady and the Tramp. No offense, Sonny. <laughs> no, I'm all right. <laughs> but the one thing they did have in common is that they loved each other so much. And even after being apart for so many years, neither one of them forgot about the other. And when they came back together and the time was right, Sonny asked Brenda to marry him once again. And I am so happy that we are here today. To my friends, Sonny and Brenda, may you be happy and in love for the rest of your lives. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> to Uncle Sonny and Aunt Brenda, whose love has stood the test of time through triumphs and tragedies. Much like the greatest romance novels of all time, Kathy and Heathcliff in Wuthering Heights. Thank you, Molly. <laughs> <laughs> um, Michael? Oh, uh, um, Brenda, we, <laughs> yes, um, <laughs> we're all very grateful to you for making our dad really happy. That's all right. <laughs> Dad, I I know you've loved Brenda for a long time. Um, I'm really happy that she's back and that you guys have got married. Congratulations. As Mignon McLaughlin once said, a successful marriage requires falling in love many times, always with the same person. Brenda, I'm really happy that you're my stepmom. Welcome to the family. Aww. Oh, what about these speeches? <laughs> these are the best speeches I've ever heard. Thank you. Okay, I guess I gotta say something. Oh, you're gonna make a speech? I guess. What? Wow. Okay. <laughs> Michael Morgan. Christina and Dante, wherever, I don't know where he went. Um, I, lo I love you, and I'm very proud of all of you. Molly, even you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you're, you're a great niece. And to Brenda, I have to say, you do, you look beautiful tonight. I guess they, they had it. Um, you, you really do make my life complete. And I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. And I love you very much. Cut the cake. Cut the cake? Yes, you oh. do the honors, please. Thank you. Yeah.
You look absolutely stunning, my dear. Mm, thank you, Edward. And I wish you every happiness in the world, in spite of the crime lord that you married. Well, it was a lovely wedding, and no one got shot. Come on, Daddy, we're leaving. What, so soon? Yes, well, you know, we've been here a long time, and Daddy's tired, and I need to feed him. Good night. Oh. <laughs> okay, everyone, it's time to cut the cake. Don't do it. Don't do it, Michael. <laughs> I have to get going. Congratulations. And uh, your reception was just beautiful. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And everything that you've done, you know, for my son. Oh, he's done even more for me. Yeah. I'm going to walk Abby out. Hey. I'm proud of you. Okay? Back at you, Dad. Thank you so much for inviting me. Bye, it's sweetie. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for coming. Thank you. All of the single ladies. Ladies like, first. Who really? you call ladies the ladies? <laughs> no. no, no. <laughs> I haven't had enough to drink. That's a barbaric custom. Oh, Texas, just that. get up there already. Uh, Take your ta-tas to the toss line. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, you go with me. Oh, come on, Mom. If we can do it, you can too. Get come your on. puppies and get <laughs> over. <laughs> I'm so glad I wore this dress. <laughs> yeah, that's so that's come on. Good. Only if you go. Take one. Oh, I don't come think on. we're going to escape come on. this. Let's go, let's go. See them. How am I going to see them? Because then you can pick who gets it. You guys ready? Yeah. Go! My girl. Uh, you're not getting married till till I say so. How long is that going to be? Uh, maybe one, two, three decades. <laughs> oh, look. I saw you dance with your cousin Molly. Very nice. I kept trying to get away from her, but she kept finding me. <laughs> well, you know, hey, that's that's the sacrifices you make for your family, right? I'm having a great time anyways. I'm really happy for you and burned to dad. I know you are. Corinthos. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen my old friend so happy. Really? Well, I will do my best to try to keep him that way. Good. You know, marriage is unpredictable. So if it doesn't work out. Oh. Thank you. Wanna dance? Yes, I do. Good. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I missed. The reception. Everything um, okay with Lulu? What? Uh, well, I'm working on it. Good. Listen, I'm, uh, I'm so happy to be related to you. Can't believe you stood up like that and told the truth. Well, you know what? The truth came out. That's all that really matters at this point. I, I appreciate that you helped her. That's all I got to say at this, this moment. Well, hey, all that matters is you guys are happy. So, congratulations to both of you guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh! 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 Yeah, let's okay. go. Let's go. I love you. Okay, we're coming. But I just want you to know I'm just happy for you. I, I'm here for you. I'm cheering for you. Cars waiting. I know. Cars waiting. Everyone, please grab your little bags of rose petals on the way out. Whoa. <laughs> uh, 
Here, far away. 